putting up the first of four solar panels. These are 12 volt, 100 watt panels. Each of these panels has four brackets and each bracket requires two bolts. That's eight bolts per panel, which is a lot of holes to drill and seal. I sealed around the holes under the bracket with sealant, then sealed over the top of the bolts after they were tightened. I think they should be pretty safe from leaks. I wasn't able to get any footage of the mounts from underneath, but these bolts are attached to wood, which is screwed into the metal frame. The first one took forever, but once I got comfortable, it moved pretty fast. I eventually figured out that I should stop scratching the top of the trailer and put down an old towel for padding. Here it is with all four panels installed. 400 watts of solar power ought to be enough to meet the needs of this camper. Here's a closer look at the setup inside. I've got the 1500 watt inverter, a DC fuse box, two 100 amp hour batteries, and a 30 amp charge controller. The other major project this week was getting the rear windows installed. I laid down painter's tape to avoid scratching the exterior too much, and also so I could mark the location for the cuts. Cutting out the cardboard shape and tracing that really helped get the hole size right. Since this was the first visible hole I cut into the trailer, I was pretty nervous, so I took my time. Unfortunately, I took a bit too much time and it started to get dark outside. Once I got the aluminum siding off, I had to cut off a section of the metal stud. I dry fitted the window, and it fit pretty well. It was even a bit snug, so it stayed in while adjusting it. Finally, I screwed in the trim ring inside, and the window's installed. Overall, it looks pretty good. The window is pretty high, but since it's above the bed, I think it'll be just right. Now that I've gotten the swing of it, I moved on to the second side. Since the windows are the same, I got to use the same cutout. After cutting the hole in the exterior siding and the interior panel, I put the interior panel back and cut out the insulation. After dry fitting the window, I got the misses to hold it in place so I can get enough screws in to hold it up. I had to drill each hole, then screw it in, so it took a while. I think there were like 42 screws.
opens and closes pretty well, and it's got a screen too. Adding the windows really made the camper feel a lot more airy and open. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to get notifications for future videos.